Well, hey gang, welcome back to Couponing with Jeremy. I'm Jeremy, a preacher, a teacher, and a couponer. I love to help people, but I also love saving money. So in these videos, I want to try to help you guys save some money. Now, we're about to jump right into some awesome savings you can do this week at your local Walmart. You don't need a lot of um, coupons. You can do a few printable coupons, but mostly we're going to be submitting back to the rebate apps. So rebate apps are like reverse coupons okay we clip them in the app we go to the store buy the stuff and then submit our receipts and get money coming back to us now i'm going to explain a whole lot more as we go into the video but these are the apps that i use on a very regular basis tonight i submitted to coupons.com fetch i bought it and shopkick and got a lot of money back so if you don't have these pause the video, take a second, download them, use the codes you see here, so you'll get some extra money in your account immediately. And the last thing before we dive into the savings, would you help a brother out? Would you subscribe to the channel? Hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up, and a comment down below, that would be awesome. All right, gang, let's jump into the deals. Well, why don't we start off with a money maker on something that is super expensive. How about you go snag some of this Infamil Neuro Pro? It's got to be the Neuro Pro 954 in my store. Shopkick is a rebate app that gave me back $10 when I purchased this. So you certainly want to go in the app, make sure you've got that specific offer. But I got $10 back, making this a 46 cent money maker for an item that's normally almost 10 bucks, y'all. Huge savings. All right, gang, I didn't get a picture of this one, but you're going to find this Jergens Natural Glow in the travel section, $1.97. You're going to scan it on the coupons.com app to make sure that the rebate's there for you. It was for me. I got $2 back making this little baby absolutely free. Y'all pick it up. Well, sorry, I didn't get a picture of this one either, guys. This was before I really thought I was going to be making a video, but you can pick up one of these Dove Amplified for $6.64. I got the leave-in conditioner. You can also pick up a Dove Love Kids item. I got the shampoo. It was $6.98. Now, some of you, if you get newspaper insert coupons, will have a coupon for this. I don't always get those. I didn't have them on this trip. But Shopkit gave me a rebate for buying both of them. I got $9.80 back, bringing the cost down to just $1.91 per item, which is great. No, I personally can't use these, but I have some friends at my church that will. Um, and one of my best friend co-workers, Shalisha, will use this on her little girl's hair. So if this is something you need, pick it up. All right, gang, if you're like me, you love Lysol wipes. I go through these. $2.97 in my store, that is an inflation jump, y'all. We've been watching it, so we're trying to beat it with these savings, okay? So I printed a coupon for $0.50. Cent. You could also submit to coupons.com app for $0.50 cent back, either one, one or the other. I also submitted to the Ibotta app for $0.50 cent back, making the final cost $1.97 for 35 wipes. Not a stock up price, but a pretty good deal, and everybody can use these. I also snagged one of these Febreze sprays for $2.94. I bought it had a rebate giving me back a dollar, making the final cost a dollar ninety-four. Now, if you get coupon inserts, you've probably got a coupon that you could use on this product. Either way, pretty good deal. All right, y'all. Y'all know the summertime is family reunion time, and everybody like mac and cheese at the reunion. So you're going to get any combination of the two of these products, three of them, all right? I picked up two Velveeta Shells and Cheese, also one Craft Deluxe. Now, I did have an old newspaper coupon for $3 off of three, and then Ibotta has a rebate for Velveeta and a rebate for the Craft product, adding up to $1.50, making my final cost $1.50 each, which is half. Guys, we just saved half on each box of these. Pretty good deal. Somebody was barbecuing. Oh, just kidding. So y'all, we need some ketchup for the barbecues. $1.28, the hunts. I bought us got a 25 cent rebate. Maisie's just a dollar and three cent. Not a bad deal. 
All right, gang, here's one we've done before. You can grab one of the Hellman sauces, 347. There's several different varieties. Fetch is going to give you a dollar back, and Abata is also going to give you a dollar back, making the final cost $1.47. All right, gang, it's summertime. The kids are at home eating you out of house and home. So why not pick up some Apple Jacks and some Fruit Loops? These are both $3.48 in my Walmart. You can print a coupon that'll take a dollar off of two at kelloggsfamilyrewards.com. Ibotta is going to give you back 50 cent rebate for Apple Jacks, 50 cent for Fruit Loops, making the final cost $2.48 each, which again isn't the best, awesome, incredible deal, but a dollar off on each one is something that will help us beat inflation. All right, gang, everybody can use some Jello pudding mix in the pantry for when you need a sweet treat, all right? I've been using the sugar-free stuff because I'm low carbon right now. So I picked up this Jello for $1.24, got back $0.25 cent on a bought up, making the cost just $0.99. Cent. All right, gang, also to go with my pudding mix, I picked up some of this Cool Whip. Um, I can mix it together. Cool Whip, even though it's sweet, has very few carbs in it, which is fantastic. I got the extra creamy kind, y'all, and it changed my life. But you're going to pick it up for $1.98. Ibotta is going to give you $0.75 cent back, making the final cost just $1.23. I also grabbed this splash six pack of water for $2.37. Ibotta gave me back $1.20. That was three different rebates that attached to this guy, making the final cost for me $1.17. All right, here's a repeat deal that I've done before. This Origin Sparkling Water is $5.28. Shopkick has a rebate for $4 back, making the final cost $1.28. All right, gang, how about some Oreo ice cream sandwiches? $4.98 in my store. Ibotta gave me an Oreo rebate for a dollar and a 10 cent any ice cream rebate back. Shopkit gave me $1.60, making my final cost $2.28. Not a bad deal. So y'all, inflation has even hit the candy aisle. These Mentos gums say that they were $3.28. When I looked at my receipt, I actually paid $3.48. But this is one of my favorite little things, so I went ahead and grabbed them for myself. Ibotta gave me back $0.75. Cent. Shopkit gave me back $0.30, cent, making the final cost $2.43. And the last thing I snagged was some of this Orbit gum for $1.08. Got $0.25 cent back with Ibotta, making my final cost just $0.83. Cent. Now, that's not a huge saving, but again, I like gum. Plus, with Ibotta, if you get a certain number of rebates, they normally give you a bonus. And I got an extra $5 because I had completed over 15 separate rebates. So, worked out well for me. All right, gang. I hope these deals have been helpful for you and that you'll be able to score them. Take the printable breakdown into Walmart when you go and you'll have the deals right there in front of you and you can go grab them pretty quickly. Now, I certainly want to encourage you to continue using those rebate apps. That's how I saved most of the money from this trip and honestly, mostly all of my trips. You can coupon and you can submit to rebate apps. The magic is when you can do both, but rebate apps is where it's at, y'all. So make sure you download those. Use my codes for Fetch and I bought it in Shopkick to get some money in your account right away. And then guys, hey, stick with me in 2022. We are going to save together. We're going to try to beat inflation together. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Give me a like. And then guys, comment down below with questions you have, tips you've got, other deals you know about. Or hey, even if you got a prayer, prayer request, I would be so honored to pray with you about that stuff. All right, gang, well, you know, we always close out our videos with a little bit of encouragement from God's word. So I am preaching through Joshua right now in my churches. And from Joshua 3, Joshua told the Israelites before they moved into the promised land, he said, today you will know that the living God is among you. Guys, we worship a risen Savior, Jesus Christ the Lord. 
God's not dead. He's not in a tomb somewhere. He is the risen Savior. Our God is living, and He is still at work in our hearts, in our lives, in our churches. He is at work in our communities. He's at work in our nation and among the nations. So let's be encouraged by that, that we are worshiping a living God, a risen Savior, and let's trust that He is going to continue to do what is right and best for each of us. Well, gang, thanks so much for sticking with me through this video. And until you catch me in the next one, may God bless you. Take care.